Alright my friends, welcome to the final part of my brutal difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I'm going to be combining the last two chapters in one video since chapter 21 is really short. But it's an important chapter because we're going to collect the last two treasures in the game. The first one is inside this room in the corner here. And we still have one more left to collect. So we just have to head down and that will take care of all the treasures in the game. So if you've been following this walkthrough, you should have all the treasures by now. If you followed all parts, then you can't have missed any treasures since I got them all, as you can see by the trophy. And that last treasure was really weird. I don't think we expected the last treasure to be an alien looking head and I'm totally heading in the wrong way aren't I yes I am sorry about that so let's head back down forgot to you had to keep heading back down the crypts but <laughs> that was a mistake on my part that's what I get for talking too much about the treasures and not focusing enough on the game. So the last treasure is here, don't forget, and let's just head down and get this over with. should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. No heroics, please. Or I will kill her. Good. Now, if you'll just hang tight, we'll be with you in a moment. It's magnificent. Craftsmanship. I've never seen anything like it before. That is only a shell. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it! Imagination. <laughs> Navarro, that thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. Gotta get lost that one. Cuidado! You are so pathetic. All of you, scrambling around for your petty treasures. Do you have any idea what this is worth? To the right buyer? Levantalo! Levantalo! Oh no, what the hell is that? Oh uh, God! Run! Uh, uh, Jesus, what are those things? It's the Spaniards, Sully. They never left. My god, if that thing gets off the island, you gotta stop him. I'll cover you from here. Okay guys, time to make a run for it. We need to save Elena and prevent Navarro from fulfilling his plans. But we have to take care of a few descendants here. Apparently they're all Spanish. And be careful because there's three enemies with shotguns here. 
So stay in the corner and shoot them, otherwise they will shoot you and you will die. One more. He's right around the corner. Morning. There we go. And now we just need to follow the helicopter and witness another cutscene and then we'll jump automatically to the last shot. Ah! Okay guys, here we go with the final chapter of Uncharted, it's called Showdown and it's not that bad of a chapter except for one section where you can die automatically without being able to do anything, at least that's the case for Brutal, but for this first part we're just going to stay here with our shotgun and we're going to shoot off the enemies one by one. There's four of them here. We can't kill Navarro, but once we take care of his men, he will move on to the next area. Make sure you save the shotgun for the final area. You'll need it. It's better than the assault rifle. And we want to save those shots. As soon as we jump down to this side, that should trigger the appearance of more enemies. If it doesn't, then move back to the other side, but then jump back to this side because you'll use this area for cover. It's a pretty effective method here. Stay in the corner, the enemies won't be able to hit you and you'll be able to shoot them very easily. So these first two sections, as you can see, there's a strategy to both of them. In the last section, it comes down to luck. After you shoot that second guy, there are going to be two more soldiers that appear, so make sure you jump back to this side to avoid their bullets. But like I was saying, in the final section, after a quick time event, we'll be immediately shot at by multiple enemies. And on Brutal, you know what that means. You can die with a single bullet, so it really comes down to luck. No matter how many times you do it, there's no strategy, it will come down to luck and you might just have to try this over and over and over again until you get it and you manage to reach cover before the enemies kill you because unfortunately after that quick time event, for a couple of seconds, maybe not even a couple of seconds, for just a second, you won't be able to control Drake, but the enemies will be able to shoot at you. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that on Brutal, you can die before you can even move. And that just goes to show that I doubt that they even tested just how unforgiving that part was on Brutal. Because, for the most part, on Brutal difficulty, there's plenty of strategies that we can use to keep our ammunition and take cover and take care of the enemies in every area, this is not one of those areas. See, I was very lucky here. I managed to do it on my first try, guys, but it could have just as easily taken me like 20 attempts to manage to get behind these two crates before I got killed. Like I said, this is probably one of the most frustrating parts of this game. 
because you can die before you get the chance to do anything. Let's take care of that guy. The reason why I brought the shotgun is due to the fact that at the very least it will kill the enemies more quickly and I won't have to expose myself for very long. Just need to take care of that guy with the grenade launcher. It's going to be dangerous. Let's get behind that crate as well. Let's finish him off before he fires again. There we go. Navarro is out of here and this is the final part. If you made it this far, congratulations, you won't have too many issues against Navarro because we can just evade him and catch him while he's reloading his weapon. So let's do this. But yeah, that part is incredibly frustrating. After the quick time event where you need to press circle, I don't know what they were thinking, but they didn't check it for brutal difficulty. I just can't believe they did because it's not about skill, really, it's about luck. So here, whenever Navarro shoots and he reloads his weapon and lowers his weapon, that's when we need to jump behind another crate. And after he destroys this one, let's make a run for it and triangle, square. And we need to do this a couple of times. We can reach him before he fires, just make a run for it. There we go. And that's it. Congratulations guys, you've just finished the game. Save the world, triumph over evil. Pretty typical. <laughs> really? That's a shame we're leaving empty-handed, though. Oh, well, you know, I, I did manage to save one small thing. Here, I, I thought you might miss this. Thanks. Yeah. You two got a funny idea of romantic. Sully! Wow, you you look like hell. You should see the other guys. <laughs> Got us a boat. Uh, we already have a boat. Yeah, big boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one better. <gasps> <laughs> Sully, you beautiful son of a bitch! Borrowed it off a couple of pirates who were too dead to care. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get your story. Well, that's all right. Now the other stories. You still owe me one. I'm good for it. All right, guys, and that's it for my Uncharted Drake's Fortune walkthrough on Brutal difficulty. As you can see, we completed the game on Brutal. It was frustrating at times. There's a reason why only 0.3% of the players that play this game completed it. It's frustrating and I really wish that they knew the difference between making a frustrating game and a challenging game. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough, I hope you found it useful and stick around for the conclusion of my Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 walkthroughs on Brutal Difficulty as well. Take care!